Now tell me, you are you playing? Yes, I, I am. Did, I did, am you, did I you want am. to play? Last, did you want to play last week? Were you right to go? I am. I uh, no. I, I, Not yeah, quite. I, no, I, I was pretty keen to push, but the coaching staff thought that I'd be better off having another week mm. off. But uh, which is a bit disappointing. I wanted to play Maddie's match and everything like that. But um, no, back certainly back in this week. So I'm, I'm, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. Very good. So thumbs feeling good. Body's feeling good. Amazing when you don't play football for, for two and a half weeks, how much you can sort of recover and freshen up for uh, freshen up for a game. So looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow night at the, SC, at the SCG, at the MCG, against uh, the Bulldogs who are in a bit of form. i tell you what took my eye in this little article I saw. Now, we all remember when our great uh, friend of yours in particular, uh, Matthew Richardson, went back to a wing. What did he get third in the brown low when he did that? Second in the brown low? I think. Second. Of... Second, maybe 2007? Uh, 2008 or 9, I think. 2008. 2008, I think. Well, The Duck has written an article in The Age, and it's a good article uh, about what he would do with Jack Revolt, and he sees you doing it. Now, I was trying to get you to be the inaugural player of Tasmania in four, three or four years' time. Well, maybe he's trying to freshen you up and play you on a wing. <laughs> Is this going to extend your career? Uh, well, I can tell you one thing right now. There is no hope in hell in me playing on the wing. <laughs> I was watching the game last night. And the wings, uh, Ed Langdon, he's a wingman for Melbourne. And we'll get on to the, the, the game of football last night. He runs 16, 17 Ks a game. That's three yep. games of running for me, David. So there's no yes. way I'll be playing up on the wing. Okay. Maybe. The one big thing, fan of yours, the duck. It is. And it's great. It's actually a really good question to pose. Like, how how tall is too tall? Um, and he's mentioned the West Coast forward line in there. Obviously, Darling Kennedy and Young Oscar Allen. Allen being yes. a bit of the swing man. Uh, he's had ability to go in the ruck and also play down back. And uh, at the Tigers, we've obviously got myself, Lynchy, and now Noah Bolter, who has predominantly played back before this year, um, but now has been put forward and. And he's going really well. I'm really excited about what what Noah has got to play. So um, how it fits, it's a, it's a bit of an interesting one. Wayne mentioned that there's only one game that we've played together with that sort of formation. We had a real, we had a whole preseason doing it, and plus two preseason games, which we we played really well. Um, can it work? Can it work? I think it can work. It's probably an ability for me to play a little bit smaller as well. So um, clearly, those two are, are big key pillars. They play a little bit differently to me as well. Like I'm, I'm more of a lead up forward. Um, so I, I look at say Melbourne, um, Bailey Fritch is, is a yep. smaller, smaller key position type, but he's a lead up for, that's probably the role that I'm, I'm looking to play. Um, but it's not to say that we don't sort of try and change it up with a horses for courses, uh, forward line for, for the sides that we think we can take advantage of or sides that we may think we may need to play a little bit smaller or play a little bit differently. So an interesting article, very, uh, David, I, I read it and thought it was, um, thought it had some really good points in there and some some points about the Tigers that, that Wayne thinks we, we need to work on. Um, and obviously that forward line will be a fluid one. I'm, I'm no fool, though, to know that I'm no spring chicken. Uh, and we do have to have an eye to the future as well. So interesting, interesting article.